Alrighty, so I'm going to make a quick video with a kind of a walk around of the LJ. Give you guys an idea of what it currently looks like. So that way in the future, you'll be able to see what it looks like later. Frame's in really good condition. Very minimal surface rust. A little bit around the corners, right around the edges. <clears throat> Not bad. Overall, frame's in great condition. This right here is your low, lowers and upper control arm mounts. Lowers over there. Um, that's your four-link setup suspension. I'll get into that more later. Should have turned my flash on. Got the uh, drive shaft taped up there in the top around the exhaust currently just to get the... Uh, Rear axle out of here quick. Um, had to come out to straighten it. <clears throat> Some of the damage that was done. A little bit of this was caved in when the cage was turned upside down. The cage crushed in a little bit. A little bit of denting there you can see on the passenger side. Um, Some of the parts and tools and things I'm working on the tub with. Got to get stuff done. It's hard to clean up and make a video. So forgive me for the mess. This is the drop down tailgate. I uh, don't have the connectors made up for the wiring just yet. But this is some of the wiring setup that I did <clears throat> for that tailgate. I'll expound on all these things more later. But at least for now you guys can kind of get an idea of the things that I've done up to this point. Um... <clears throat> There will be D-rings, uh, recovery points getting welded onto the bumper. I haven't done that yet, but I'll be doing that later. This is the corner that hit the pole. Uh, hit a little bit here on the fender. You can see some of the damage done. Nothing too crazy. This is the little bit of fender push-in that happened. <clears throat> Took the impact pretty darn good considering that's not focusing too well just barely messed up the bracket a little bit and pushed the tub in a little nothing too serious tire hit right back here got up into the stock tub a little um, ripped the exhaust bracket off so i'm currently just kind of holding it up <clears throat> haven't got to that part yet uh doors were having problems the hinges were pretty jacked up from the stock windshield so now they close beautifully uh, so that's back in working order <laughs> had to replace the windshield so got a new yellow cool bumblebee windshield <laughs> um, tires are in great condition 37 inch Toyota open countries uh, poison spider armor all the way around this thing was already powder coated black couldn't have got a better deal uh, <clears throat> bumpers getting getting going cut the ends off here <clears throat> made them a little bit a little bit more aerodynamic i don't know made them flow a little better whatever you want to call it it's not that aerodynamics is any concern of mine just saying uh, front dana 44 axle <clears throat> already has the one ton steering done on it Real nice setup, heim joints and everything. These bins were done with the Rogue Tube Bender. Uh, I'll get to that later as well. I'm not quite as pleased with the Rogue Bender as I thought I was going to be. However, it does bend and it works. I can at least appreciate that. The uh, tube notching was done with an easy, cheap, simple Harbor Freight tube notcher. Nothing fancy. Uh, put a Linux hole saw on it, and it works great. Going on around some of this old stuff from the original build, I plan on fixing up a little nicer. Not really fond of that, but <clears throat> here's 
a bracket that I made for the hood hoop to anchor to. So you can see it's kind of separate from the bumper, but I needed something to fill the gap in on this winch plate to the frame. There was washers in there before. I used a metal plate from that bracket to basically replace the old <clears throat> sway bar bracket, sway bar link bracket that used to go there in the stock condition. Uh, so this Jeep, as you can see, does not have a sway bar of any sort. And here's the driver's side. Had to get a different color hinge because this windshield didn't have both hinges, it just had one. But um, all the Torx bit um, screws worked out well, except for one. One was messed up on the passenger side. Again, driver door works wonderfully. <clears throat> Got the hinges a little bit dialed in, a little bit nicer, so they open and close real good. I went with Poison Spider uh, dash mount uh, brackets, whatever you want to call them, <clears throat> for the cage. These are my current cage tie-ins. These are the stock brackets. I modified them a little bit, notched them with that Harbor Freight tube notcher on both sides here. <clears throat> and that's how I plan to anchor the windshield at the top. Obviously everything's just tack welded in. I'll do final weld later, but as of right now, that is the start of the cage. There will be more to come this weekend. <clears throat> uh, this is in that first video I made. This is the transfer case shifter I was referring to. Um, automatic transmission. It operates. Uh, I had to add some fluid and everything is working so after i found out everything was working and in good shape <clears throat> i obviously was pretty excited because i didn't really know <laughs> what condition the jeep was in exactly so there you have it there's the jeep and here is the cage that was in the jeep it uh got a little scuffed up here there <clears throat> and kinked in the back so it was all pretty well tweaked the uh, passenger side pushed forward about probably two and a half three inches you can see all around this weld here <clears throat> how much the paint chipped off of it from all the tweaking and warping of the tube so had a pretty good little hit but anyways, that is the Jeep as it sits. That over there is my pride and joy little beauty. Uh, we'll get to that one later too. But that's the LJ that is getting built. I'll make more videos on this as we go. See you guys.